All right, YouTube, how's it going? Uh, this is Buster Lee's uh, weekly Sunday video. Hope you've had a good new year. Happy New Year, everybody. Uh, quiet one for me. Didn't have a drink or anything at New Year, but uh, the bells. Right, so today's video is about this <coughs> 1970s copy of a jazz bass. This isn't a squire. Uh, this is a company called Rockwood. I got this in a shop probably over a year ago uh, in a shop down in Sheffield called Dawson's that they're, they're plastered everywhere around, around England good thing about my job is I'm, I'm a refrigeration engineer uh, and I travel all over the UK and Europe for my job I go into a lot of guitar shops and I get some free time in that city I happened to be in Sheffield uh, I was working with a guy who one of my mates is a guitarist uh, and he was, he was into an acoustic guitar, he ended up buying four guitars that day I bought this and a mandolin which he ended up getting so <coughs> speaking to the guy, there was two of these left in the shop he was telling me that uh, this company Rockwood is now under the name SX which you'll see a lot of the, 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 the same idea as Harley Benton they kind of, a, a, a level entry guitar SX, same as Harley Benton, good quality for the price you're paying. Uh, they bought over this company, Rockwood, uh, and same factory, same everything. And I think they actually make Harley Bentons as well, the same fact, this factory. It's even got a serial number on this guitar. It's a pure, it's a long serial number. It's a serial number on it says. WSM1708A020031 <laughs> So, 2017, that's guitars And then, they, they, they moved to, started making SX Dawson, this is like a Dawson's own kind of shop That they're kind of, a uh, shop guitar we'll call it uh, The main guitars that they sell, well they're kind of cheap ones or cheapish ones or they're all with Rockwood originally and then they've changed the SX and I, I don't think SX make one like this they do a jazz bass but it's like in a puke green colour and it's got the uh, pack up covers and all that on it <coughs> with this when I bought it <coughs> I said there was two of them in the shop one was 120 quid brand new out of in a box and everything and then this one because my mate was buying four guitars and I bought a mandolin uh, I got this for 59 quid and only because only damage on it was in the finish there's a wee blemish here so when I got it it was bog standard silver machine heads uh, silver string tree normal bent uh, bridge silver saddles chrome saddles uh, the pot cover was chrome uh, chrome buttons for the strap and stuff like that so I had to obviously modded it which I do with most of my guitars that I'm keeping myself put on the black machine heads vinyl the top this did have a wee kind of point here I just kind of knocked it off it just looked kind of stupid so I just kind of knocked it off and rounded it off a wee bit vinyl the top as I said vinyl the cavity cover plate the pot plate Vinyl that so it was black, painted it was a three ply pick card, painted the side of that, changed the bridge so it was like a high mass bridge and put on shawler locking shutters, uh, locking buttons on it, I keep saying locking shutters because I found one the other day in my box and it's just stuck in my head, but uh, shawler style locking strap buttons, uh, this hasn't got Roto strings on it, this has got Johnny Book strings on it, I put them on the guitars that I don't play that much all the ones that I play all the time I've all got a uh, Roto strings on it these have got Johnny Books on it not much price difference, it's uh, 4 quid a price difference or something but I'll stay in the steel in the last Fridays, I won't lost anything so the problem I had with this, so I got it for 59 quid the problem I had with this is, is obviously do a bit of slap with it. Uh,
So doing that, <clears throat> because I've got it, the, I've got the fretboard as flat as I can get it. I've got the strings really low, as low as you get to do the slap. What was happening was the string was hitting off the pole. Uh, no matter, I, I decked, I decked the, the pickups as, as far down as you go. I took, it, I took out the sponge, I took out the springs, and I decked them into the body as far as they would go. And the string was still hitting off the pole. So I'll show you these. These are these are the differences in them. Uh, these are the original ones out of them. If you can see them, I mean the poles in them are sticking out about a mill out of the cover. <clears throat> so if you took off the cover, the spool inside, they must be sticking out about two mil. So that's what the string was hitting off of. No matter how, and they're quite deep, these pickups. So these are they're quite quite far out. These are proper fender ones. And if you look, that the poles are not sticking out as much. I don't know if you can see that. So I've tried these in it, and it was still doing the same thing. So the pickups that I've got in it, if you notice them, they don't have any poles coming out. They're not EMG pickups, they're just off eBay pickups. And they sound, they're quite high output, but they don't have any poles in them. And the reason why I, don't, I chose them is because if you open them up, <coughs> that's what they look like inside. So don't have any poles. I mean, that is a pole, that big metal bar is the pole, but rather than having the pole sticking out, it's just one metal bar. So I chose them. So when I did slap, and it did, the string did vibrate down, it wasn't hitting a pole, it just hit the plastic cover. And it's done the job, it's made it sound really nice. Plus, obviously, it kind of goes with the guitar because I've blacked everything out. It kind of matches the guitar. So, this is another example. You don't have to pay loads of money to get a really good guitar. As I said, I paid 59 quid for this. It was brand new. The only bit was a wee bit of damage. It wasn't a return. It wasn't a, a, anything like that. It just obviously been damaged either in shipping to the, the, the store or in the store uh, but even buying one mint condition at the time was 120 quid don't know how much the SXs are they don't, I don't think they make one of these as I said I don't think they make this, this, this style anymore this is the kind of 70s style I think that's what the Fender call them it was because of the black inlays so this has got black inlays, black binding uh, I mean, it's a, for, for the price you're paying, I mean, 120 quid for a guitar like this, with the black binding and the black inlays, and, and it's, it's fucking cheap, do you know what I mean? And it's solid maple, it's a solid maple body, solid maple neck, it's obviously got a separate fingerboard because of the binding and the fact it's not got a skunk stripe, so as I say, I've said that in my video before, the reason for the skunk stripe is for, if it's a solid, uh, one piece neck including the fingerboard they need somewhere to put the truss rod in and that's obviously the bit skunk stripes for if you, if it's not a one piece neck fretboard then you don't need the skunk stripe fender just adopted it as that's what you get <coughs> you buy a fender but apart from that it's exactly it's, it's good quality and it's all it's got the uh, finish over the fretboard as well so it's not as if it's a a natural fretboard it's been finished and finished in a good quality for the price so you don't need to pay I mean I think the Squire version of this I think they call it the Vibe now it used to be the I think it's the 70s Vibe I think they call it look at you let me look that up uh, I mean that's 300 and 360 quid brand new I think second hand you can get them for about 250 200 for the 5 string version I've seen one for 300 for the 5 string version uh, so uh, that's another, another, you don't have to pay stupid money for a decent guitar. I mean, different, if you're, this is your everyday gigging guitar, then yeah, pay the money. Pay the money for a Fender. But if it's, I mean, I don't play this very often. Yeah, I mean, 
I don't. It sits in, sits in my rack and I, I pick it up now and again for doing a bit of slap. Yeah. Doing, doing a wee bit of bits and bobs and stuff, but my main go to guitar is a P bass. And it's me and my Fender. I mean, my, my go to P bass is a, a Jim Deacon, which I've done a video before. And they're made, the Jim Deacons, the two Jim Deacons that I've got, are made to the same quality as a Squire Vibe. I mean, it's roasted maple neck. Uh, Love looking with her. But, same again, no got Fender on it, people don't really know. I mean, that's only, that's strange. So, I like to get it out there, you don't have to pay that amount of money for a decent guitar. So, this is the 70s, the 70s jazz bass, playing through my Laney RB4. Which, tell you a wee bit about this, this is an RB4. This is, they don't make these anymore. They don't make, well, make RB4s, but don't make them the way they make this one. This is the last of the the one you can put an extension cab on. So this is an RB4, 165 watt amp. Uh, it's got an extension port at the back that when you plug an extension in it becomes 300 watt. So I've got it through an old, this was an R4 uh, combo that the actual amp was knackered. I've ripped the amp out. I jumped through the back of the amp, put a connection socket on it, and now it's, it's linked to this, and this is now a 300 watt, two by 15, 300 watt cab. Uh, yeah, so everything's all at uh, 12 o'clock. It's, uh, it's got a built-in compression on it, a uh, built-in limiter. They call it the, the, the limiter defender. Uh, Basically, it gets to a certain point and just cuts everything to the same level. So the volume's up at 3, treble's at 12, bass is at 12. I'll put the you get a hands, an enhancement uh, knob here as well for that at 12. Gains at 3, and through the normal socket. All the EQ's sitting at 12. This is the front. for so long it's quite strange. So I hit that's it. So nice cheap 
base, good quality. Uh, in fact, if you can pick, when you find one, I'd pick one up. Uh, I'm going to start going through it. I'll go through the rest of the bases that I've got, and then I'm going to start doing. I don't know what I'm going to do with that actually. Obviously, I'm quite new to this, so I'm, I'm just trying to get and find my feet and find a, a thing that I'm going to do. Playing on, play on video as well is quite strange. It's quite, yeah, I can't get bring me doing it. So I'm hoping my time goes on. Uh, I'll, I'll find it easier play. I can get conscious that I'm playing on. Which I think it's, it throws me when I'm playing. Uh, so I'm not used to just trying to angle the camera. So, uh, but that green green tomatoes I was showing my mate that I try and do it, try and do it, slap them off. Is, is trying to get accuracy when I'm, when I'm thumping because I, I, I know what it sounds like using my fingers I, I try and use that so I can get more accurate with my thumb when I'm doing slap so you can hear just where my thumb's going do you know what I mean that's because I've only been playing uh, get into it I've, I've really I've always been interested in the thumb it's only been the last maybe Year or so that I've actually been properly getting it. Like, so I use that to, to get the accuracy of where my thumb is going, so I'm no. I'm conscious of the video, so it's kind of messing up. That's kind of thrown me as well. So I can only apologise that my playing is not the best now. I'm hoping my videos go on that I get used to playing on camera. It's different when I'm playing on. I'm doing a uh, studio stuff now that I used to do studio stuff. It's a, a whole different. For me, it's a whole different ball game. It's not a thing that I'm not used to playing on camera. Knowing that I'm on camera, uh, that kind of throws me. And when you own, I used to do gigs and stuff like that, it's just kind of, you kind of block out, you kind of block out the crowd and stuff like that. And when you're in the studio, you don't have a crowd, so it is quite, because I don't apologise. Hopefully it gets better this year, as you started, so. So that's it, my 19, uh, my 70s jazz bass. So next week's video, don't know what's going to happen. I'll work out what I'm going to do my guitar. I might do my acoustic action next week. I might do that. So, this is my week for this is my video for the week. Uh, see you next Sunday. Hope you all behave. Hope you all stay safe. Uh, try and stay in so we can get out of this fucking lockdown shit. Because I think, if you've had enough in my work, I think that's me might go in furlough for the next couple of weeks. So, I might do a wee couple more videos if that's the case. Rather than just lean it to once a week. So stay safe, speak to you soon.